it is my pleasure to introduce Tom Umberg for State Senate in the 34th District. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Bethany. Bethany, thank you for making this your personal mission to change our community. So, thank you. So, the, thank the huddle. All right, well, thank you, huddle. I appreciate that. So, just by way of background, uh, some of you may recognize me from way back in the day, but by way of background, I grew up in the Midwest and came to... <laughs> So, okay, we got one. Uh, we, we win this one by one by one. We got two. All right, good, good. So we got all the Midwesterners, so I, I'm finished. Grew up in the Midwest, came out here uh, courtesy of the United States Army to go to UCLA, and there's three. We got three. All right. <laughs> I'm working it. So came out here courtesy of the U.S. Army, went to UCLA, and went in the Army, and spent lots of time many, many places in the world, and was most fortunate, and I'm most proud of this Army accomplishment, which was marrying a woman who outranked me. So, <laughs> some of you, it, more clap, good. <laughs> some of you, some of you may have spouses that outrank you, but very few of you have to salute them, literally, <laughs> by law. And it's only because she was smarter and a better leader that she outranked me, you know, who would guess? Anyway, so came out of the Army, came back to Orange County, was in the U.S. Attorney's Office, was a federal prosecutor right here, prosecuted federal crimes, civil rights crimes, drug conspiracies, white collar, all sorts of things. But while I was in the U.S. Attorney's Office, something happened in 1988, and many of you just rolled your eyes when I said 1988. Something happened in 1988 that lit the fire in my belly that has burned ever since. And here's what happened. In 1988, in the election in November 1988, I got a call. I was a federal prosecutor on election duty, got a call. The call was from a citizen saying, there's people dressed as police officers stationed throughout Santa Ana, and they're keeping Latinos from voting. I thought, this is just sort of a random deal. It can't really be happening. Got another phone call a little later. Said, there are people armed keeping Latinos from voting. I thought, holy cow, called the FBI. FBI said they'd open a file. Then a guy named John Hanna called me, who was then chair of the Democratic Party, and said, I'm not kidding. There are folks dressed as police officers, and they're keeping people from voting. So I grabbed another federal prosecutor, and he and I went out to Santa Ana High, and lo and behold, there's a woman dressed as a police officer. The big sign said, non-citizens may not vote. And as we watched from about 50 meters away, we watched people come up to her, and she'd have a conversation. They would turn away. And the two of us watched this. We got out of the vehicle. We look like federal prosecutors, blue suit, white shirt, red tie. And as we walked up, she dropped the sign and ran away. And of course, we chased her for a good 50 meters, uh, lost her. But we went back, and I went back and called the FBI. I said, this is a crime in progress. This is not just a random report. This is a crime in progress. And believe it or not, it was not illegal at the time to do that. It was not illegal at the time to do that. I was outraged. I thought, this can't happen in our community. This cannot happen in our community. You can't have people organized to keep folks from voting. And sure enough, there was an investigation, but not much happened. I had a big mouth. People said, you should run against this guy. I didn't know it. It was the high water mark of the Republican registration in Orange County. There was the largest margin in the history of Orange County between Democrats and Republicans. And I had virtually no sense because I decided to run against this guy. And we ran hard, and there was a small group of us I see Susan right there, a small group of us, yay Susan, who helped us make it happen. Most of the people were named Umberg and a few other folks like Susan were involved. And, and we beat him. And we beat him, we went to Sacramento, and now it's illegal to do that kind of thing. So I went to Sacramento, served a term, two terms in Sacramento, left, I ran the Clinton campaign, went back to Washington, worked in the White House, came back, got activated a couple different times in the Army, and been out of the legislature now for 10 years represented the Santa Ana, Garden Grove area, Anaheim in the legislature, three different terms. But I've been gone for a while. I've been gone for 10 years, and so I know what it's like. It's not glamorous. It is grueling. And so what makes me want to run this time? What makes me want to make a difference? What makes me decide that I want to get up at 6.30 in the morning and fly up to Sacramento every Monday 
and back every Thursday. I'll tell you what it is. It was what happened, like for many of you, in November 2016. And so I have the great good fortune, the great good fortune of running against somebody who is a Trump ally. Whether it's guns, whether it's health care, whether it's offshore oil drilling, whether it is health care, anything, the person I'm running against is on the wrong side of all those issues. So if you want to be involved, we got great candidates running against one another, Democrats. This is a great opportunity to get involved in a race where we're going to make a difference. We hold a 10-point registration edge in that district. We're going to take it back. So if you live, if you come back to our table and you live in our area, we want to sign you up right now. Thank you very much. Tom Umberg. Appreciate it.